Crypto futures, are they actually treated as futures for tax purposes? This is a question that I get all of the time, and the answer may be a little bit more complex than you might think. My name is Andrew Gordon. I'm an attorney and CPA, and I help clients all the time report crypto on their taxes properly and avoid IRS audits or scrutiny. In this video, we're going to be talking about crypto futures. Now, you may see these futures in various different places, such as on exchanges such as Binance, but you may also see futures now on regulated exchanges like the CME, which has Bitcoin futures and someday soon may have other futures as well. And so let's dive in and learn what the tax implications are for these types of transactions, because if they are actually taxed as futures, and we'll talk about the definition of futures, crypto futures could have some favorable tax effects. So to begin, what are futures? Futures are financial contracts or an obligation for a buyer to purchase or a seller to sell a certain amount of something at a specified price and time. Now, these are often commodities, things like gold or oil, and you'll typically see them on regulated exchanges places like the CME or the New York Stock Exchange. And you can buy them pretty regularly through all different types of brokers that allow the purchase or even sometimes directly. But what makes futures unique from a tax perspective is that under Section 1256 of the tax code, regulated futures are taxed favorably. Most securities or assets, you have to determine whether or not they are long-term, sold longer than a year, or short-term bought and sold less than a year. And the reason for this is important because the tax code provides benefits. Uh, generally, the tax rate is about half for long-term sales versus short-term sales. For long-term sales, the tax brackets are zero, 15, or 20%. But with short-term sales, it's your ordinary tax rate, which could be up to 37%. So whether or not something is long-term or short-term is very important. And section 1256 of the code recognizes that, well, with futures, since we're buying something in the, in the future and entering into a contract for it, uh, what is this? Is this short and long term? So the code says that we're going to give both. We're going to give a 60% long term treatment, 40% short term treatment to any regulated futures contracts that are sold. And so from a, a tax perspective, often this is viewed as favorable. Uh, because the long-term tax rate is so much lower. But how does this apply to crypto and crypto futures specifically? On many different exchanges, they advertise their crypto as a future that you could buy or enter into a futures contract. But does that actually meet the definition under the tax code? Well, section 1256 refers to what's called a regulated futures contracts. So the term regulated seems to indicate that we're gonna need something more than just a uh, exchange posting something online. But 1256 has two requirements. The first is that the futures contract needs to be marked to market and settled regularly, generally at least daily, but it needs to use the mark to market approach. The second is that it needs to be on a regulated exchange, a place like the CME. Um, and so if it's on a unregulated foreign crypto exchange or even a U.S. crypto exchange, but that it's not regulated by the SEC or any of the uh, uh, other government bodies, most likely not going to qualify. And so uh, of the many examples that come our way and of the consultations and clients that retain us to help uh, report their crypto futures, I think essentially all of them have not necessarily fallen under 1256 and considered a regulated futures contract. Instead, they're generally treated just like any other crypto contract or trade, uh, meaning that we'll identify whether it's short-term or long-term, many of these generally being short-term just because of the nature of a futures contract. So if you're trading crypto and uh, you think it's a futures contract, from a tax perspective, you'll definitely want to talk to a tax professional, but in many cases, you won't get that favorable 60-40 split on a crypto futures contract. Now, that's not always the case. Again, if you're doing something like the uh, Bitcoin futures on the CME, different. So it depends on the type of crypto futures. 
Now, from a IRS audit perspective, we're seeing more and more IRS audits every day on crypto income and crypto capital gains. But what we're also seeing is that the IRS, although uh, the taxpayers may be doing things like derivatives, futures, margin, that the IRS doesn't actually uh, recognize them as such. And that even though the exchange may call it a margin or a futures, just as we're seeing here, the IRS will typically see just the trades themselves and consider them no different than any other trades that occurred with just a, a spot transaction. And so that's a big concern and a, an issue that we're seeing in audit, which is that the IRS is struggling to actually classify them uh, the same way that often taxpayers view it as well. So if you're involved in any type of, of activity, such as derivatives, margins, futures, certainly want to get a, a tax professional involved. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video useful, or if you have a friend or know someone that's involved in crypto futures trading, please share it with them. Thank you.